Now that we have learned about the steps and built our very first model, let's get ourselves familiar with more machine learning types and algorithms. And now we are going to talk about supervised learning. Do you remember what was supervised learning? It's a type of machine learning that we give the data to the algorithms as labeled data. So we are giving the outputs to our model as well. So it would know what was the real output. It tries to find the relationship and then gives us the model. One of the most common supervised learning is the regression. We have already seen simple linear regression when we wanted to learn about the steps. And today we are going to learn about another algorithm which is called support vector regressor or SVR for short. What does it do? It tries to find the best line or plane that separates different groups and then finds the nearest match. This line or plane is called hyperlane. It tries to find that and then tries to find the nearest match based on those data. If you have a lot of features or if the relationship between the inputs and outputs is not linear, support vector regressor is going to work much better than just a simple linear regression. So it's good to know this algorithm as well. And we are going to learn about how we can implement them in our code right now. So let's go to our code. Okay, this is the code we had from last section where we want to learn about the steps. As you can see, we have separated the process in different steps. Now the process is going to be the same and the only part that is going to be different is this part. And normally depending on the algorithms we use and depending on the type of machine learning model that we are trying to build, Sometimes the evaluation algorithms will be different as well. So let's go through the steps and implement SVR for our data. The very first step is the data. What type of data we are going to use? Last section, we try to use insurance data, which was a simple linear regression, which had a linear regression between the inputs and outputs, and it only had one feature. Now we are going to use wine quality data set. Where can we get it from? Actually, PHP ML has some data sets as demo in itself. We can use that and we are going to use that today because it's a very good data to practice SVR. So let's go to PHP AI and there is a folder called data. Here there are different CSVs and today we are going to use wine. In PHP ML, they have already built a function that we can call and this would load this sample data. The function is new wine data set, but I'm not going to use that. I like to have my data in the data folder. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in my data section. And here is our data. There are so many features. And at the end, we have a class one, two, three, or something like that. So the very first step is to load our data and the file is called wine.csv. How many features are there? You can take a look at the data yourself as well, but there are 13 features and one column is the output. So in total, there are 14 columns. Then we process the data. We are going to split it in test set and train set and these are the groups and arrays that this splitting will give me. In the last section, when we wanted to split our data to training set and test set, we used random split, but PHP ML provides another function as well, which is called stratified random split. It's still random, but it tries to put data that represent all the classes in both training set and test set. So it's not purely random. It tries to have representative data in both groups. And now we are going to use this one instead of random split. Then we have the training section. This is the part that we are going to change. Last time we used list squares, which is for simple linear regression. And today we are going to use SVR. Then our regression object is going to train based on the train sample and train labels. And then we are going to predict based on the test samples. In simple linear regression, we used R2 score, 
but in our case because uh, here we have like three classes one two three and they are like integers they are not floats the r2 score might not be very precise so we can try to use another matrix which is called let me bring the folder which is called accuracy so we can use that we can say accuracy equals to accuracy in the accuracy we have a method called score which is a static and we are going to use that this will also get the test label and predicted labels so we are going to pass that here as well and then we are going to echo the accuracy let me put a new line php end of line and then we say accuracy is accuracy and let me fix this i didn't copy the dollar sign <laughs> the thing with accuracy is that in php ml it's a better metric for classification algorithms not regression algorithms so in one part it tries to see if label and predicted label are equal so if our predicted score is something like this it's not going to be equal and the accuracy score is very is going to be very low but we know that our classes are all one two three so we can round the numbers that we get from this regression which normally gives us uh, floats and put them here in our accuracy score so we would get a more precise score and in order to do that we can go through the predicted label with a for each loop for each predicted as target and we are going to say target equals to round target and i don't want any decimals target not target and the thing with this target right now is that it's not going to change the values inside this predicted so in order to do that we have to add this sign here now it doesn't create a new value it's going to get the position the point of that value and then change that so all the values inside this array will be changed to round numbers without any decimals so let's run our code and see what it did php index.php run the code the r2 score as i said is not going to be a very good score but the accuracy is 72 percent which is very good let's go through what we did here the very first step was we load the data the data was a uh, sample data from php ml but we copied that in our own data folder it had 13 features and it had heading rows so we set that to true then we split our data to train set and test set but instead of using random split we used a stratified random split which tries to have some representative data in all the groups then we used svr and we trained our data then we predicted based on the test samples then we tried to get the score and as i said r2 score in our case in with this data is not going to be a very good score so instead we tried to change the predicted values to round numbers and we used accuracy metrics and the accuracy metrics in this group was 72 percent it can get better but for our learning purposes it's perfect so let's continue with our course